the water's washing away the land. But slowly, people are going away for sure. This place is not like many others. There are quite a few things that are pretty unique. It's definitely changed since I was a kid. They used to grow crops down here until the salt water got down and basically ruined it all. The water, sometimes it comes over the levees and you gotta wait for the water to evaporate out because there's no other way to get it out. All around the camps, I see a lot of people move. I don't know how I feel when everybody moves. I like to remember this place. I am grateful that something like this through this grant can be done, but this place has been home for so many generations for almost 200 years now. I have never lived nowhere else but Olive Jean Charles my whole life. My parents have did that. My grandparents have did that. Their parents have did that, and I know for sure that the one before that did that too. You know, this island, for as long as I can remember, has always had a tradition of having a chief. My great-grandfather, who would be y'all great-great-grandfather, he was chief of the island at one time. If what we have learned from the past is not passed down to the new generation, it could easily slip away. When it comes to the resettlement, I'm put in a position where I have to make a decision today about tomorrow. If you were to ask me, are you going? I'm saying yes because of the future generation after me. All it would be, it would be taking us out of harm's way and one day wake up somewhere else, you know, to begin a new day. But as to what this island has been for so many generations, that part there can't be replaced. And in some way, I am losing something. We work here, we pay taxes here, we go to school here, we contribute to this country, and we are what makes this country great. Thank you for having me here.